God instructs Noah, Noah in this week's Torah portion to collect all of what we call the behema tehora, the pure animals as we classically define it, and the behemot halo tehorot, the animals that are not pure, and bring them into the teva, into this ark, in order to ensure their preservation for the future of human civilization following the flood. We classically interpret the word tehora as pure and tum'ah as something that is impure. But in actuality, Rav Hirsch says a tremendous insight. Tehora, the word tahor, tiher, tet he resh, is very similar to the derivative that's described in this week's parsha as well, to tzadi he resh. Tzadi he resh is sohar. Sohar is a window, and Noah is instructed that in his ark he is to construct and include a Sohar, a window that would invite light into the ark as well, that would enable him and the people who inhabit the ark, that they would be able to see, that they could expand, that they could understand, that they could decipher. And therefore, says Rav Hirsch, a tremendous insight. In actuality, Tahor, Tiher, is not to be pure and does not mean purity, but it means clarity. Someone who is pure is Tahor, like Sohar, someone who invites understanding, intellect, reason, knowledge into themselves from others, from the outside. They are willing and they desire to enlighten themselves. They want to learn from others. Whereas, says Rav Hirsch, Tameh, Tet Mem Aleph, which we would classically interpret as impure, that's not what it means. Tameh, actually, if you switch the letters around, comes from the word Atum, Aleph, Tet, Mem. Atum, or Otem, means to seal, to be closed, not inviting light in, not being exposed, not allowing oneself the ability to learn and expand their horizons. Now let us understand what the Torah is saying according to Rav Hirsch's interpretation. We always, or I always, thought that Tameh and Tahor is pure and impure. But how does one arrive at purity and impurity? Rav Hirsch suggests someone who's pure is not someone who never sins and not someone who's always righteous that would be virtually impossible for anyone to achieve. Someone who's pure is someone who is sohal, open, and allows and exposes themselves to learning, wants to learn and understand and appreciate their surroundings. They are products of their environment and they invite knowledge and an expansion of understanding into their lives. That is purity. Impurity is just the opposite. Someone who is not willing, someone who is closed, someone who is not prepared to learn from their experiences and to learn from their surroundings and the people around them. That kind of person is indeed impure. What a tremendous revelation. Purity is something that all of us can actually achieve and attain by being people who are willing and desire to learn from those around us um, from the experiences that we might have in our lives. So it should be. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you once again for joining us. Please remember to consider subscribing to the page below and send me your comments. I will get back to you. Have a great day.